Hey guys, quick one today. I want to add an addendum to a video I recently did on reusing CAD data and taking advantage of smart components to eliminate repetitive design tasks. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one in case you didn't catch it. If you've ever seen one of those Slick SolidWorks demos or a YouTube video, you've probably seen where someone drags and drops a part into an assembly and it automatically orients to the correct position. That user is taking advantage of a mate reference to quickly orient that part to a hole or face depending on the application. SolidWorks was given a heads up to look for a specific type of geometry to place that part. Today we're going to look at how to use these mate references to make your library components smarter. Here we have the same gauge from the last video. I'm going to start the mate reference command from my command search bar and select the back face of the gauge. I'm also going to tell SOLIDWORKS that this mate needs to be coincident. And that's it. I can add up to three references in a mate reference, but for this application I only need one. Save the part, and it's ready to use. Back in our assembly, I'll drag the part into the graphics area from our design library. When I hover over this surface, you'll see a mate symbol pop up next to my cursor. This is SOLIDWORKS telling you it's recognized an appropriate mating surface. Release the mouse button to drop the part, and I'm ready to position it. Mate references are just another tool you can utilize to eliminate repetitive design tasks and get through your projects faster. As in my last video, if you have questions about getting the most from your CAD data, reach out to your local MLC CAD systems representative today and start a discussion. And, as always, thanks for watching.